Some iron-rated Minecrafters settle for a howl's moving castle like mythical treehouse that excretes lava. For the few remaining elite, there's the Athenium Showcase. With your host, Psycho Cinematics. Good morning, Legion. Today you are going to be dazzled and amazed by the extravagance of one of Minecraft Next's very own. Our next manor belongs to the premier pancake waffle and tire repair king, Martin Mann 1998. Set in an oddly named deep ocean biome, an eclectic mix of Asian and Viking deco permeates both the exterior and interior design. Lavish displays of woodworking craftsmanship are ever-present and on display for all to see, largely in part to the expertly placed bay windows. Each floor of this wooden castle highlights a different shade, the first being a potentially tongue-in-cheek joke at how his neighbors must be green with envy, and looking at the interior, it is not surprising to see why. The jade floor is a staging ground for the hottest parties this side of the funky Reese Ravine. Clear of almost any obstructions, there's plenty of room to meet and greet with all the jet-setting hipsters of the Minecraft realm fortunate enough to be graced by an invitation. Up a staircase lies the swanky, ultra-modern kitchen. Chestnut-lacquered cabinets wind across the ceiling and floor, framing an industrial-sized walk-in refrigerator, keeping all hors d'oeuvres and entrees as cold as the night out in any tiger biome. Bamboo countertops intermingle with the restaurant-sized slate griddle in an eye-pleasing design. The hand-laid brick, intricately chiseled from the shores of Ostania, make up the hood of the stove. How neither rocky surface chooses to crack under such extreme temperatures is a secret that Martin wisely keeps to himself. Barely able to be seen behind the stairwell is a comically macabre oil painting dating back to the 14th century. One might wonder why anyone would choose to almost not even display this prized canvas, but when you have the diamonds to spare, who cares? Up another staircase rests the Amethyst Suite. A fact many art aficionados do not know is that this very floor is the driving inspiration to none other than Monet's Blue Period. The various topiaries in the establishment are never required to be pruned thanks to the ingenious decision to remind them via painting just how easily they can be removed with Mr. Flint and Tinder. If only the concierge knew this a week earlier. Also on this floor is the master bath. A shower with every possible setting stands across the room from the oddly yet amazingly detailed toilet. One might notice the exit of said toilet funnels down to the kitchen immediately below. Hopefully one did not go back for seconds on the poo-poo platter. Or even for firsts, for that matter. As we ascend the final staircase, we are greeted with the sight of the player's lounge. A retro chic penthouse with ample room for all the movers and shakers of the Minecraft Elite. A wonderfully rustic jukebox sets the tone for the spacious dance floor, while the extended Chesterfield couch offers a location of rest, should any sessions of twerking prove too taxing. As the sun rises, our time in this Asian-Norwegian mansion regrettably comes to a close. Unfortunately, there was a lack of buttons or pressure plates to leave, so for the additional effort we must expend to teleport ourselves back home, we took a parting gift. Do you or a friend care to be featured on an upcoming showcase? Leave a comment below with your in-game name and coordinates, and we shall see if you are Athenium material. Be sure to like and share this video with your friends, and subscribe to stay up to date on the Minecraft Next Elite. Until next time, Legion, take care.